Well, my friends, I got to tell you, the new Republican Party is not going to be the one of old. We're not going to sit around and not hold these people accountable. Because I literally watched in real time as Anthony Fauci lied to Rand Paul in a Senate hearing. Which, let me tell you, it's a crime to lie to Congress. And when we take the majority back, I will make sure that man is charged. And when we take the majority back, I will seize every single Chinese asset in America as a down payment for the reparations they owe us for what they've done to our country. So that right there was North Carolina Congressman Madison Cawthorn talking about the idea of holding Dr. Fauci responsible for, of course, lying to Congress, lying to Dr. Rand Paul about gain-of-function research happening over in China. Now, of course, you know, they're losing their minds saying, no, he didn't lie to Congress. He didn't lie to Dr. Rand Paul. He, he did. I mean, we got it from a Freedom of Information Act. He lied. We were funding gain-of-function research in China. All right. Whether maybe he has a new definition of how he's going to define it, you know, try to find a loophole to get on out of it. The reality is, yes, he lied to Congress. And this isn't surprising. The news lied nonstop. Now, hold it, YouTube. I know I'm not saying that he lied about COVID. I'm not saying COVID's not real. All right. COVID's real. All right. COVID's very real. I know people who've died from COVID. I've had it. I've, I've, I've had it, for God's sake. Right. It's 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 pretty bad. I'll tell you what. It sucked. It was awful. COVID's real. I'm not saying Fauci's lying about COVID. But early on in the pandemic, he said, you should not wear masks. Masks are ineffective. Don't wear masks. And then later on, he said, no, you need a mask. Everyone needs to have a mask. You need a mask mandate. Now, of course, people tried to say, well, research changed. Except that's not what he said. He said, well, no, we didn't want the public going out and buying up all the masks. We want our doctors to have it. So when you talk about people who might be hesitant about stuff like the mask or the vaccine, the reason is because they keep seeing a man like this lie about masks, of course, lie to Dr. Rand Paul, of course, and not being held accountable, it makes people a bit, I don't know, not very trusting of the people in charge right now, when the people in charge have routinely lied to them and just gotten away with it. Or right, you want to talk about why people are so hesitant about things like the vaccine. Again, YouTube, I love vaccines. I think they're great. Yay, vaccines. I personally don't have the COVID vax. I have plenty of other vaccines, though. I have tons of other vaccines. I don't have to COVID vax simply because I talked to my doctor and because of my medical conditions, they said it's not wise for me to get it. As well as, of course, the fact I've already had it, so I have natural immunity already according to my doctor. Again, this is what my doctor says, so I didn't need to get it. With that said, I think vaccines are great. I just think that everyone should have the choice to talk to their doctor to see what works for them. And if you don't trust your doctor, hey, then don't trust your doctor and don't do anything, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this isn't very hard. Just figure it out. I just got to say, just a lot of people to figure it out themselves. As simple as that. If they don't want to take it, don't, they don't have to take it. If you're worried about it, take it. Fantastic. Hey, you're part of the immune club now. Great. Fantastic. But the reality is a lot of people are mistrusting of stuff like vaccinations and for somewhat good reason. The government keeps lying to them. When the government keeps lying to you, when Joe Biden says, oh, you know what? I, I would, I'm not sure who would trust this vaccine. I'm not sure who would. When he's running for office and then instantly gets in office and goes, you know what, we need to mandate this vaccine. I just told everyone not to trust. All right, Kamala Harris, same deal. She said, well, I wouldn't take it with Trump responsible for it. You know, Trump was responsible for this vaccine. I'm not going to take it. Yet then, for one, of course, don't get banned for it. There, there's that too. But then, of course, turning around saying, well, I don't know why anyone doesn't trust a vaccine. I mean, only lunatics wouldn't trust it. <laughs> What do, you, what do you want people to think here? I mean, they're not going to, they're going to be hesitant. They're going to be hesitant because these people keep lying to them. If they actually trusted, if there was some trust there for people like Fauci, some trust there for anyone in power, more people would be getting the vaccine. More people would be getting immune. More people would actually listen to what health experts have to say if the people in charge did not lie as much. So yes, when they lie, we need to hold them accountable. So Cawthorn going after, of course, Fauci saying we should hold him accountable. And then, of course, he then goes after China saying he wants to seize Chinese assets of, you know, of really anything to have in America for a down payment for reparations for what they've done. Again, all he's saying at this point is let's hold people who lie accountable and let's hold the people who, of course, led to this pandemic in the first place accountable. That's it. He's just saying hold people accountable. And the peop and people are freaking out over this. How dare you say Fauci lied? How dare you say it? We know from a Freedom of Information Act he lied. That's been proven. We know he's lied in the past. That's been proven. 
right? We know this came from China, and we know China lied to the WHO about, of course, how it spreads. They said, oh, there was no evidence of airborne transmission. When, of course, they were taking steps, of course, to already quarantine people because of fear of airborne transmission. Right? They lied to the World Health Organization. They lied to the rest of the world. They, regardless, you could not, regardless if it came from a lab or if it came from a wet market, it doesn't matter where it came from. China has been responsible in the past 20 years for almost five different terrible flus coming out of their country. Of course, you had multiple variations of bird flu. You had, of course, SARS come out there. You had, of course, a couple of, I forget the name, it's like H2N2 or something like that. Multiple Multiple diseases have come out of China at this point that have gone out and killed hundreds of thousands of people. And we have never held them accountable for it whatsoever. At what point do we say, you know what, the debt we owe to you, and of course if you look at our national debt, it's terrifying, it's awful. I mean, try to even fathom that kind of money is just unreal. But what point do we say, you know what, you killed hundreds of thousands of our people. You killed hundreds of thousands of our people. You are directly responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Americans. We're not going to pay you what, what we owe you. We're just not going to pay it. All right? That's our reparations. You know, what we owe you, screw you. How much is a human life worth? Of course, that's always been a question when it comes to law. How much is a human life worth? How much is over 200, over, just, and again, hundreds of thousands of lives, how much is that really worth? What should the reparations be? Seizing their assets, I think, might be a good start. Now, I don't know how that would look. I'm not sure how that would even work out in the first place. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we need something else. But we should be looking to get reparations from China, whether it be cutting off portions of our debt or really anything in particular. It doesn't it, Just something. Just something to hold these people accountable. Which is why, again, I laugh so much when people are so upset that this man here, Madison Cawthorn, wants to sit there and talk about holding people accountable. That's it. That's all he's saying here is hold people accountable. And again, I, full discretion, I've met the man multiple times. I don't, I'm not like buddy buddy with the dude whatsoever, but I've been to multiple events, met the guy. He seems like a good guy. All right, I don't agree with everything he says. I, I, I think he does still want kind of a big government that works for us kind of deal. I, a bit hesitant on that. I'm more libertarian minded personally, but I get where he's coming from. I think he's an honest dude. As far as I got, I think he's an honest dude. And of course, they want to sit there and say, well, he said, uh, you know, we need to, you know, he said America first. And, you know, the KKK said America first. Therefore, he's a, he's might as well be a member of the KKK. Yeah, they also drink water. They also said, hey, you should probably respect your mom and dad. Listen, this sort of stuff is nonsense, right? Oh, he he went and visited the Eagle's Nest when he, he took a tour of Europe. I mean, it's a major historical site. Why wouldn't you want to go there? Like, I know you can't see my big bookshelf I got up here, but I... It's tons of history books up there, right? I love history. If I would go to almost any spot that was historical. Any, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean I have a connection with the people who were at that site. It just means I go, wow, this is where those people were during that time in history. Wow. And it's just you take it in. You just take it in. That's it. It's like when you go, it's like when you go to Gaysburg or something like that. You know, you don't really exactly go... Yes, this is where I would have stood. No, you, you just look at it, you just take it in going, wow, what a what an amazing battle. They did that over there. They did that over there. Oh, this was this was the charge that led to the deaths of that many men. Oh my god, walking in the field where these people were. I can't only imagine. You just take it in, because it's history. Right? You know, you can't <laughs> It just amazes me. It amazes me, of course, the ignorance of the left saying that, of course, if you go to a historical site, you must immediately be in favor of whoever was also at that site. No, you just go to a historical site because it's a historical site. This is an amazing moment in history. It could be terrible. It could be great. It could be downright disturbing. But you still want to see where that site was. You want to be at that spot and go, wow, this is where it took place. And it doesn't have to be a good thing. People go visit Auschwitz. It's not because they're going, oh, yes, I love this place. No, it's because they're taking in the fact of, oh, my God, what happened here? You don't sit there and say everyone who goes visits where Auschwitz was. You don't look at them and say, hey, all those people are Nazis. No, no, you go, yeah, you know, a lot of people go there to see, you know, where it all took place. But it's amazing. All these attacks towards a guy who, whose only real crime is saying, hey, you know, why don't we hold politicians accountable? Surprising. Again, I don't know the guy extremely well. I met him a couple times. Seems like a good guy. I'm 
Uh, I'll still vote for him over any Democrat. That's an area to be perfectly honest. But I mean, it, it does make me laugh to see how the left responds to someone just saying, let's hold people accountable. Either way, what do you think? Leave a comment below. Of course, leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And of course, subscribe to the channel. You know, doing one video, uh, one video every weekday, sometimes two if I'm feeling, you know, feeling pretty good here. So subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for watching. We'll be talking again real soon.